Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Midcap Radar on CNBC TV 18. Well, the midcaps that they, they continue to do well, and one of the midcaps that I'm focusing on on our midcap spotlight segment is Best Agro Life. The stock is up 41% in last two trading sessions, and we were discussing about the stock yesterday as well. It's logged an upper circuit again, and uh, that one is up 20%. Uh, and I was wondering what has really happened here. Now, on 28th of March, the company announced that they have acquired 100% stake in Sudarshan Farm Chemicals, and the estimated enterprise value here is 139 crore rupees but the company says after adjusting for some working capital adjustments and other things the actual cash outflow is only nine and a half crore rupees the acquisition falls within related party transaction because one of the directors is common in one of the subsidiary and uh, this particular ac acquired company as well which is mr pramod narayan karlekar he is a common director in both these companies as well now the turnover of the acquired company in fi23 it was around 30 crore rupees which is lower than fi22 levels of 49 crore rupees and fi21 at 67 crore rupees. Um, the company says acquisition is a step towards expanding the existing business operations and market footprint as well. Now, very important to understand why am I focusing on Best Agro Life here is because cash flow has been a big problem for them and this is an all cash deal. Even though their cash outflow is only nine and nine and a half crore here, we need to understand that their cash conversion cycle has been very high and this is something that the management has been questioned about a lot of times as well. In fact, in last three years, this cash from operating activities has only deteriorated. It was negative 180 crore rupees uh, in FY23, which compares with negative 60 crores. And before that, it was around 13 crore rupees. Their debtor days are high as well, 73 days there. Creditor days are 167, so it has been on a higher levels in terms of the balance sheet condition. It has continued to be very stretched. Um, and now, this is something that uh, has been a question for the management, and they keep saying they will improve their cash conversion cycle. In fact, in November, they had indicated that the cash conversion cycle would improve by 20 to 22 days. Uh, that is something that the street wants to take a look at as well. In terms of shareholding, there's Quant Mutual Fund, the small cap fund, which has 2.11% stake. Resonance, Resonance Opportunities Fund is around 8. 15% stake and promoters have around 50.1% stake. But yes, this is a big move that we are seeing in the stock. So I just wanted to put these risks on the table as well that while they are going and acquiring something and the street seems very excited about it, keep these things in focus that the balance sheet continues to be very stretched and the stock on the back of this has seen a decline of 36% in last one year. Of course, the agrochemical space was also under pressure, but these are some things which are very particular to this particular company. Last two days, it's been the best outcome, but you can't really say that when you come to the last yeah. 12 months. But nonetheless, 20% higher for best agro life. And speaking of stretched balance sheets, there were some